Committee on the Interior, Energy and the Environment will come to order. Without objection, the Chair is authorized to declare a recess at any time. Uh, we are expecting votes on the floor of the House around 2.30. We'd like to get as far as we can, at least through uh, the opening statements and perhaps our witnesses' initial testimony. And then uh, we have a couple of votes. We take the House picture, which actually is very fast, and we'll get back here as soon as we can to finish that up. I apologize, but there probably will be about a half hour or so of recess in the middle of this to allow us to, uh, to do our voting. So, um, good afternoon. Today the Subcommittee on Interior, Energy and the Environment will examine the regulation of shark finning in the United States. Despite the fact that shark finning is illegal in U.S. waters, many coastal states continue to face issues with shark finning enforcement. Today, we'll explore opportunities to combat the terrible practice of shark finning through discussing issues with enforcement, possible benefits of a ban, and the importance of sharks in the global ocean ecosystem. The United States has made great efforts to protect sharks in our territorial waters by passing the Shark Finning Prohibition Act of 2000 and the Shark Conservation Act of 2010. The 2000 law prohibited the importation of shark fins without the corresponding carcasses and the finning of sharks in U.S. water. The 2010 law went a step further prohibiting U.S. vessels in international waters and all vessels in U.S. waters from transporting shark fins without the corresponding carcasses or from removing any shark fin while at sea. My home state of Texas recently joined the effort to end this inhumane treatment of sharks. On June 10, 2015, Texas became the 10th state to ban the trade of shark fins when Governor Abbott signed HB 1579 into law. Prior to this, Texas had emerged as a hub for shark fins with the state's fin trade growing by 240 percent since 2010 after the passage of fin trade bans in California, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Massachusetts, Maryland, uh, New York, Oregon, and Washington. With the passage of HB 1579, Texas is the first Gulf state to pass a shark fin trade ban, and I'm proud of the effort Texas has made to eliminate the fin trade. Now is the time for the U.S. to prohibit the trade of shark fins completely as well. That's why I've co-sponsored Chairman Royce's bill, the Shark Fin Sales Elimination Act of 2017, which prohibits processing, selling, and purchasing of shark fins at the federal level. In addition to this important piece of legislation, I've also introduced the Justice Attributed to Wounded Sharks Act, or the JAWS Act. This bill would end the United States' importation of seafood products from countries that do not prohibit um, the practice of shark finning. Sharks are a necessary component to a healthy ocean, yet millions of sharks are uh, traded annually for their fins, leaving certain species uh, increasingly vulnerable, if not endangered. Without sharks, the ocean's ecosystems would be unbalanced. Sharks maintain uh, equilibrium and order by ensuring population control and habitat boundaries, which is a critical component for ocean life. It's my hope that this hearing today will allow us to pinpoint solutions that will protect sharks and put an end to the inhumane practice of shark finning. Uh, I'll now recognize the uh, ranking member of the subcommittee, Ms. Plaskett, from the Virgin Islands, for her opening statement. Uh, Ms. Plaskett, you're recognized for five minutes. 